Hello, welcome to your latest weather update from the Met Office. So it's been a bit of a drier start to the weekend for us, but that doesn't last too long with plenty of showers on their way. Low pressure sits out towards the north of the UK, slowly sinking its way southwards through the rest of the weekend. And into the start of the new working week, it will bring with it some cold and northwesterly winds. And that will take those temperatures well below average for the time of year into the new week. High pressure does stay close by out towards the west of the UK and that will bring something a little bit milder and perhaps a little bit drier through the second half of the week and in towards the weekend. But back to this evening's weather and a weak cold front situated across the southern half of the UK slowly clears its way south and eastwards through Saturday evening and into the start of Sunday, leaving a very dry night for much of England and Wales. Further north, there will still be some showers across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland, but these will gradually ease through the early hours as well, so generally turning it a drier picture to start on Sunday. Under those clear skies, though, it will turn quite chilly, particularly across parts of Scotland. We could see temperatures as low as minus two or minus three over any high ground and even further south, staying in the single figures, maybe seven or eight degrees here. So a chilly start to the day for all of us on Sunday, but a dry and bright start for most of us, particularly across the southern half of the UK. There'll be plenty of sunshine through the morning. That sunshine won't last long across Scotland and Northern Ireland, though, as showers push in from the west through Sunday morning and in towards the afternoon, turning particularly heavy across western parts of Scotland. And again, we could see some snow over the hills. There could be some hail and thunder mixed in here too. And even further south, we will see some cloud bubbling up through the afternoon with the, one or, the odd one or two showers possible across Wales and Northern England. With some slightly brisker westerly winds, particularly across parts of Scotland, that will keep temperatures generally closer to average, around 9 or 20, 10 degrees. And further south, not quite as warm as Saturday, highs of 14 or 15 degrees here. Through the rest of Sunday and into the start of the new working week, those showers do continue across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England as well, and will gradually push their way south and eastwards into the early hours of Monday morning. Southern and eastern parts of England perhaps holding on to some of that dry weather for a time, but by the time we start on Monday, those showers will have reached those areas. Turning those showers particularly heavy across parts of Wales and northern parts of England, and we could even see some hail and thunder mixed in too. With that brisk northwesterly wind developing into the early hours of Monday morning, it'll be another chilly night across parts of Scotland, perhaps some frost in places, and around 7 or 8 degrees across the south again. So Monday generally starts a very showery day across the board. Heavy bands of showers push their way south and eastwards as we go through the morning on Monday. We will start to see some sunshine developing behind those the, the heaviest bands of showers, but there will be plenty of showers around across the UK. Always heaviest further north and further west. And again, we could see some snow across Scotland and even across the high ground of Northern Ireland and parts of Northern England as well. With that brisk northwesterly wind, temperatures will be at, if not just a bit below average, only around 11 or 12 degrees in the south and struggling to reach double figures further north and with that wind definitely taking the edge off the temperatures as well. Those showery conditions do continue as we go through much of the start of next week but as I mentioned we might see higher pressure returning through the second half of the week. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to find out more details about that closer to the time though. Bye bye!